Hey everyone, Jason Case here with another video, and today I'm going to discuss five ways to troubleshoot a drop in rankings. So once you start ranking for specific keywords, you're going to start seeing more and more organic traffic to your website, which is great. But over time, you're going to have competition come in, algorithms are going to change, and so forth, and these pages might start declining in traffic. Your rankings might start dropping. So what I want to discuss in today's video is uh, ways you can troubleshoot this. And our goal is to identify problem areas on your website that could be leading to a decline in this website traffic. So why these rankings are dropping. So number one, did your site get penalized. So did Google issue, issue a penalty to your site for something that they see is against their um, rules or whatever that go into their algorithm? The easiest way to check this is Google Search Console. And if you don't have Google Search Console set up yet, you need to get this set up. It's very easy to, to do and it's free as well. Um, check Google Search Console for any messages. If they penalize your site, most likely you're going to get a message there of why it's penalized and actions you need to take to try to resolve this. <clears throat> Two, did you recently launch a new website design? This is probably one of the most common areas I see with businesses. So they develop a whole new site on a development server. So their current site's up and they develop a new website on their uh, development server, get it designed how they want, and then they roll that over to replace the new site, or the, the existing site. Well, when they do that, a lot of times, their website traffic will drop off. And if, if it does, what you need to look at, did the content change on these web pages? Are you missing keywords? So if you didn't keep a backup of these pages and files, one way you can check is look at archive.org and look at a snapshot of these pages in the previous um, previous website and compare. So what, what keywords were you ranking for? If these keywords were removed from the new content on the site, then most likely this is why. Did your meta titles, meta descriptions change in any way? Or were keywords removed from those meta titles, meta descriptions? If so, that might be why. Did you remove the uh, site-wide no index, no follow after launching the new site? This is very common. It's easy to forget about. So when you have a, a development site up, you don't want this indexed by Google because then it's like duplicate content out there. You don't want to be sending people to your development site. You want that, so you don't want that indexed or followed by the search engines when you're developing that. But when you roll that over to your new site, you need to make sure that you remove that no index, no follow, um, or remove the disallow from the robots.txt file. Otherwise, your new site is not going to be indexed from the search engines anymore. <clears throat> Did you change your, your URLs? So this is another very common thing. If you're rebuilding a new site, a lot of times you're starting from scratch, a new theme, new template, and you don't think about the URL structure of your current site to the new site. So then when you roll over your new website design, you're, you're going to have a lot of 404 pages, a lot of air pages. So the best practice to do is make sure if any of those URLs are changing in any way to do a 301 redirect to the new URL. So Google knows what the new page is there. <clears throat> Number three. Is your content thin? So if you have uh, thin content on your site, you might have been ranking for this before, but nowadays people are, are putting out tons of in-depth content. So 1,500 word plus articles. So if you were ranking for like a 300 word blog post before, well, chances are if you're not already, here in the near future, you're probably going to see a drop off on those pages as soon as more competitors come in and start putting out more in-depth content. 
Number four, did you lose links pointing to your site? So links are a, a huge part of the authority of your overall website. So if you start getting a drop off and a lot of links that were pointing to your website originally, this could be a factor in dropping in rankings and website traffic. So the easiest way to check this is check with uh, various tools such as SEMrush, Moz, or Google Search Console and identify any possible links that dropped off and how you can regain these. Number five, competitors outranking your high traffic pages. <clears throat> so if so, you need to conduct an audit on these pages that were getting a lot of traffic and find out why they these competitors are possibly outranking you. So again, did you have thin content? Now the people that are outranking you, do they have more content? Do they have more links pointing to that page? Is the page better designed? Things of that nature. If you need uh, more ideas on how to conduct this audit, I did a video on this previously. Check out my YouTube channel and I have all my videos categorized by uh, topic areas and you can check that out in more depth. So either way, that's it for today's video. Always keep an eye on this because if you start seeing a drop in traffic, you want to try to fix these problem areas as, as quick as possible to regain this traffic. So if you need help with any of this, um, this is what we do on a daily basis. So that way you can stay focused on running your business and we can do what we do best and help uh, troubleshoot these areas, help with your marketing strategies, and help grow your business. So we can work as an extension to your team. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk tomorrow.